afternoon, everybody. It is Friday. I just got out of work a little bit early. I'm heading over to pick up Adam, and we're gonna have a mini weekend vacation to Vancouver, BC, Canada. So um, we're staying at this super nice hotel. Um, sadly, it's the same hotel where the guy from Glee passed away, uh, Corey Monteith. It's kind of like a weekend, like, let's get out of Seattle type of thing. We're driving. Adam's here. And we're just talking about how scared I am of using my cruise control, but I'm not scared of... of what? I just find it strange that you're deathly afraid of cruise control, yet you'll hold up a camera while driving on the freeway and talk into it, and that's okay. We're en route to Vancouver, BC. Hey guys, so this is minute four of oh, wait, I on. cruise control attempt number two. <laughs> okay, you're gonna cruise? Yeah, well, I'm, I mean, I am. Here we go. Right What's happening? Let's push it up. Go a little bit faster. Oh my god! Oh. It's cruise control! So we're finally at the border. Uh, it's so nice outside. It's supposed to be like mid 70s, maybe 80s. So now we're going to Canada. It'll be in the low 20s. Oh yeah, because of uh, Celsius. Whatever. Right now we are crossing the Yard Bridge. Just got to Vancouver probably like 35 minutes ago. Oh Canada, <laughs> our home and native land. You know the lyrics. True. Come on. I don't know. I'm a hockey fan. Staying at the Fairmont Pacific Rim. So we're walking in the hotel right now and it's so bougie in here. But I was told that we got complimentary upgrade. She said Harbor View. Like a harbor view like of the water. This is exciting. So we're walking to our room. Wow. This is classic. Soft music playing. Let's see what the view is. Oh wait. I wanted to use the iPad for the Okay, so apparently the iPad controls everything. Does it control the Oh, that's so nice! Right there! Oh yeah, that is a harbor view. That's so cool. We have like a little bit of both and you got you get to see the little knockoff space needle thing up there. Yeah. Wow. I heard that there's a TV in the bathroom. Oh there it is. There is certainly a TV in the in, in the bathroom. This is a nice bathroom. Yeah, see the rain shower. There's only one bed. I wanted to get ice, but the ice is already here. That was really quick. They probably did that right when we checked in. Like they ran in here. There's no way they could have done that. You don't think so? That is really good service. I guess they're just trying to kiss our ice. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like this is also the um, hotel where uh, Corey from Glee passed away. And there's like people here paying their tributes. Adam and I are going to the Cactus Club for dinner. This is so pretty. This is where we're going to, the Cactus Club Cafe. Our hotel is right over there. So the Cactus Club was a fail. It was a little exclusive, like with the roped um, entrance and it looked like a, the entrance of a club. But, and it was an hour wait and we weren't gonna wait an hour. So we decided to go back to our room first to go research because we don't have internet access here on our phones because we're not in a Canadian network. But uh, looks like we have a complimentary snack. Looks like chocolate, dried fruit. Oh my gosh, so I'm really impressed. So after like, you know, a whole bunch of trying to figure out what we're doing, we ended up talking to our concierge at the hotel and she hooked it up. They told us at the Cactus Club that it would be like an hour plus wait. And the lady at our concierge desk at the hotel was like, we can get you in like 15 minutes. Nice. That was... It was very cool. I, wow. Fairmont Pacific Rim. I'm happy. I'm like, this is so cool. Since the restaurant is actually literally across the street, we have a little bit of time, but I thought I'd show you the view of the harbor. Looks like that. They actually have a Chevron station in the middle of the 
of the harbor. So we are here seated at the Cactus Club and somebody decided to wear the same color as me today, again. Again? Favorite video? Wearing similar colors. Oh yeah, the sure, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably to blame because he woke up before me and he probably wore his polo first. Orange. But mine's actually orange, red orange. But we're waiting for our drinks and we'll show you what we get after that. So we just got our drinks. What is this? It's a watermelon margarita. We're gonna try it out. Yeah. Oh, that tastes really good and refreshing. This is what I got. Got a Pacific Ling Cod with the red curry and coconut rice. What did you get? Short rib sandwich with fries. Yum! Okay, we're gonna eat. Ah! Just got out of dinner. We're going to the Sky Train to Bridgeport and then taking a shuttle to the Richmond Night Market. It's about 10 o'clock right now, so gotta buy our ticket right now. Guys, so we are on the Sky Train right now, leaving from uh, Waterfront Station over to Bridgeport to go to the Richmond Night Market. This train is for YBR Airport. Heading towards the YVR airport. Adam's here. So we're wearing the same thing. On your black shawl. It's not a shawl, it's a you cardigan. Cover it's a you, cardigan. you cover up. <laughs> this was worth it. <laughs> we have like 20 minutes here, and it took us probably like 30 minutes to get here. But uh, it looks pretty cool here. It's not as crowded as I thought it would be, but uh, So many different things here. You have a uh, roasted corn down there. Then you have some barbecue skewers. Looks like this is more like shumai shrimp dumplings. Looks like there's tea. So many things here. Looks like pad thai right there. And bubble tea. The flavor of the rainbow. We are getting takoyaki. Looks like that. They're like basically balls. Uh, we got scallop, octopus, and shrimp balls. You've never had octopus before, have you? No. It's the first time? I've thrown them at hockey games for the Red Wings. I wanna try them. No, I've never eaten them. Eat a takoyaki ball? I have no idea. This is actually his first time. No more material. Not bad. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> you want another one? <laughs> so we are back at our lobby at our hotel. What the hell? It's like a club in here. A little live band. Good morning everybody. Um, it is Saturday morning and I'm just waking up. This bed is so comfortable. Like, insane. But I thought I'd open the curtains, but I'm too lazy to get out. So, use the iPad here. We can open the curtains and open the shears. So, click open and open. And <laughs> there you go. Let's see what view we have this morning. Probably the same view as yesterday, but... Beautiful, beautiful. Right now, we're just kind of getting ready for, I thought I'd do an outfit of the day real quickly. I am wearing um, this tribal looking shirt that I got, it's wrinkled, I should iron it, uh, that I got from Neiman Marcus Last Call. Um, these yellow shorts that I folded up uh, a little bit from Zara, and these shoes that I got from Topshop. Top man. We're heading over to Starbucks really quick to grab something and then go back to the pool. And then brunch later. Yay! I was sitting in line just to get um, yeah. to order and the lady at the barista was like, do you want this? Which is like a frappuccino like caramel. And I was like, huh? She was like, do you want it? And I'm like, okay. So I pretty much got a free tall frappuccino. And I got an artisan sandwich. So I'm gonna quickly eat this and then head back to the hotel. Heading out to the pool. Looks like that. Looks really nice. How is the hot tub closed?
So super disappointed, but the pool is heated, but there's the hot tubs at work. Um, I don't know if you can see back there, but there's cabanas with like flat screen TVs and then like other things there, but this is kind of the area. Nice building. And yeah, we're just gonna try that. Try the pool really quick. Oh, did you get in? Is it warm? Okay, we're, I'm gonna go in, bye. Trash my camera one of these days? Probably. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, we are at the pool. Sad we are. I didn't. I that's that. That's what this is. <laughs> um, I'm a, we're a little bit sad that the hot tub is not in use, but it's a really beautiful view of palm trees. You love palm trees. I do. Because it's a per personal thing. Palm trees. Anyways, we might head out soon and have brunch with Adam's friend, and then we'll see you later. From the pool, and I'm messaging with somebody on a certain. <laughs> messaging app. Uh, Sean, he uh, was like, are you Jerome from Oh It's Rome? So I'm like, yeah, that's me. He's like, what are you doing in Vancouver? I'm like, just a weekend vacation with Adam. He goes, oh my god, I love Adam. Adam, you have fans. I I'm, I'm so flattered. <laughs> hey guys, so if you were ever wondering what music Jerome showers to, it's never say never. And since this is an X-Tube, I can't open the door. But I thought maybe you super fans just might want to know exactly what's going on. So, you're welcome. Okay guys, so it's time for more behind the scenes. Um, we already explored the showering. Um, so how about we just be voyeurs and just go through whatever's in, whatever's in this bag here. The things, that, the things that Jerome doesn't tell you. That's what I'm here to provide. Um, let's see, there's a receipt for, I don't, I don't know what this is. Let's see what else is in the bag here. Um, there's a wife beater. Something made out of neoprene. Hey guys, so right now I'm here at this kind of cafe called The Templeton. It's in Granville Street uh, here with Adam and his friend right there. Uh, we are starting early. I have a, a screwdriver starting early, but Adam said it's five o'clock somewhere and I have this really ugly zit right here, so enjoy that. Holy crap, so this is what we got. It is the, what is this called again? The mangled egg. The mangled egg, so there's basically a croissant and inside the croissant are eggs, bacon, cheese, and then you also have the rosemary potatoes. Hey guys, so we just finished uh, breakfast, but we made an impromptu visit to Aldo, and um, it's like a different Aldo. It's like a, the, the clearance store, which is cool. Grab something really quick. Just got back to the hotel, and just taking a quick bathroom break, but it's so classy in here with the background music and the towels. So we are gonna head over to uh, Chinatown and then probably Goldilocks Filipino Bakery and then head back to the States. So Adam and I are in Chinatown and it, it is a tradition to always go to Newtown Bakery for their show pal. So come inside, I'm probably gonna get the pork asado and the bola bola, or the chicken, I don't know. This is what it looks like. Yum. The coconut tarts look really good too. Oh, and the moon cakes. There's this other thing. It's like the apple fritter. Sesame balls. As usual, heading over to Filipino Bakery Goldilocks, which is right here. Um, I need to get uh, either half or a whole thing of Brasso de Mercedes, which is like a custardy dessert. So we're at the Filipino Bakery, Goldilocks. They have so many different things here, but what I got was this. It's like the Brasso de Mercedes, which is like a custard on the inside and like a meringue on the outside. Um, I also like, ooh, custard mamon. Should I get this? Got adobo? Do you have adobo? I don't know. <laughs> So I didn't vlog it, uh, but we are in the United States side now. Um, and I guess it's the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and Adam and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! The vlog is over, however, I think it's time for a little vlogging overtime. 
if you will. For those who decide to, to keep watching, let's talk about throwing beverages at moving vehicles. Um, <laughs> let's say hypothetically, you had a venti raspberry lemonade tea. Let's also say you took that large drink and you went through a crosswalk and almost got ran over. I almost got ran over by a car. Right, and almost get run over by a car. And died. And died. And, but, but obviously... I'm alive. But obviously Jerome is okay. And, and so am I for that matter. Thanks for asking. But <laughs> let's say that that car came close to you and you had to stop walking through that crosswalk and you have this venti raspberry lemonade tea from Starbucks and you decide to just whip it as hard as you can at that taxi causing people to look at us, causing tea to be all over the pavement. And all over his, his window. He stopped and, and got out, he, he stopped. I was afraid he was gonna get out of the car and we were gonna have to like run away from the cab driver. Pedestrians have the right of way, especially, they, especially on the sidewalk. And they also have the right to throw beverages. Yes. Could you imagine Canada like trying to get you? Like there could be like Mounties like doing pair drops on Seattle, <laughs> like trying to get you. We're gonna get you, you hoser, eh? What's this about? I want to say it was a really fast reflex of me doing that. I, I didn't have to think. I, I just, didn't even see it actually happen. I just saw the raspberry lemonade everywhere and the cab driver stop. I did whip it pretty hard. Like I threw yeah, it, it sounded like it sounded like he hit like a pillar or something. Yeah. That's why like the other pedestrians were yelling. They didn't yell, they just gasped. I think looking back on things and how we could have done things differently, being self-critical, doing a little post-mortem here, I think you could have tried to hit it in the open window would not have made a mess on the pavement, and you would have sent the message louder. And then it wouldn't have been assault, it would have been battery. My favorite kind of battery is when you're battering like fried chicken, and you have like the beer batter. Uh -huh. My favorite is the double A uh, Duracell. Double A's? Yeah. I prefer the D cell, I find they're better for like throwing at people. Like, yeah, and they're not gonna make a mess. Again, I feel really bad for that poor I don't, guy. I don't feel bad. Not for the cab driver, for the person that has to clean the sidewalk and get all that sticky it's, raspberry it's lemonade It's rain. Tea. Imagine all those shoes just being like slightly sticky to the pavement. Ugh, that's just, you're like, ugh, but I stepped in. We can in. all blame the cab driver for that. And oh, I stepped in, I stepped in iced tea that was a result of Filipino rage. Filipino rage. Filipino. Filipino? Your hashtag? Yeah. Oh, one other thing. I didn't videotape this, but at Duty Free, coming from Canada back to the U.S., I'm, you know, at the cosmetic area in Shiseido, and this Filipino lady, older, probably late 40s, early 50s, was haggling with the salesperson to give her free lipsticks because she's getting like one or two things. And then the lady was like, ma'am, this is, you know, duty free. You're already getting like 30% off of whatever. And we don't do that, it's fixed price. And she was like, well, since I'm buying this, can I get 40% 40, 40 off or 30% off? And I was just like, in my head, I'm like, bitch, this is duty free. Not Divisoria, not Green Hills, we're not in the Philippines right now. We don't haggle. We're not even bartering. We don't have chickens to give to you for free lipstick. Shit just got racial. And uh... But anyways, we call that a Filipino. Hashtag Filipino. Okay. <laughs> Given my whiteness, I will say nothing. Anyway, um, this has been real. We will see you next time. Bye!